What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to solve for the measure of an angle, all right? So as you can see, we have an angle right here, right? So this angle ABC, let's just say, let's say this is about 60 degrees, okay? So we're gonna say that the measure of angle ABC is equal to 60 degrees, right? Now, if you cut this angle with a ray or a line or something, okay, so if we cut it something like that, okay, and then we can name this, let's call it X, okay? So now you can see we have two angles, right? We have this angle right here, right, ABX, and we also have this other angle, right, XBC, okay? So we have these two angles, one in red, and we'll do this one in purple. Okay, so we don't know exactly what the measure of this red angle is, and we don't know exactly what the measure of this purple one is either. But what we do know is when we add up the red one and the purple one, it's going to equal this original one, 60 degrees, okay? So what I can say over here is that the measure of this red one, right, ABX, right, the measure of angle ABX plus the measure of this other angle right here, right, XB. C, right, the measure of angle XBC is equal to 60 degrees. Okay, now let's quickly talk about angle bisectors. Bisectors. All right, if I told you that this ray right here, ray BX, was an angle bisector, all that means is that this ray right here cuts this big angle, right, ABC, directly in half. Okay, so if I said BX bisects the big angle, ABC, then I automatically know that this angle right here, this red one, is 30 degrees, and this purple one is also 30 degrees, okay, because it cuts it exactly in half. So the red angle is equal to the purple angle, okay, or I guess the more technically correct way of saying that would be that the red angle is congruent to the purple angle, okay? Congruence just means that they have the same angle. All right, so now that we got this little intro out of the way, let's jump into this first example. All right, first example. So this one says angle EFG is a right angle, right? So EFG is a right angle. And we can also tell because it has this right angle symbol on it, okay? So it says find the measure of EFH, so EFH, so that's this one right here, and the measure of HFG, okay? So HFG is that one right there, okay? So what do we know about these two angles right here? We know that when we add them up, they should add up to 90 degrees because these are complementary angles and complementary angles add up to 90 degrees, right? So if we add up these two angles right here, which are represented by these little expressions right here, so we'd have 2x plus two plus this other one, x plus one, okay? So when we add these two up, they should add up to 90 degrees. Okay, so let's uh, first combine like terms. So 2x plus x, that's equal to 3x. And then here we have plus 2 plus 1, so that's plus 3, is equal to 90. Okay, so we're trying to solve for x here, right? So let's subtract 3 from both sides. So these cancel out, and we get 3x is equal to 90 minus 3, which is 87. Okay, so then to solve for x right here, we'll divide both sides by 3, right? So then these threes cancel out. So we're left with X is equal to 87 divided by three, which is equal to 29, okay? So X is equal to 29, all right? So this is what we're gonna plug into these little expressions right here to figure out what the measure of each one is, okay? So first of all, let's plug it into this one right here, right? E, F, H, right? Okay, so the expression right there is two X plus two. But now we know what x is equal to, right? So 29, so this is gonna be equal to two times 29 plus two. And that's equal to 60 degrees. Okay, so then this one right here, EFH, right there, is equal to 60 degrees, right? Now let's find this other one, HFG, okay? FHG, right? And this one has x plus one, right? So that's what we're gonna use, x plus one. So again, we're gonna plug in 29 for x right here. So 29 plus one is equal to 30. Okay, so 30 degrees. So HFG is equal to 30 degrees, right? And also when you add up your two answers right here, 60 plus 90, again, they should add up to the overall angle, right? So the overall angle right here, again, was 90 degrees. And here we got 60 plus 30, which does in fact add up to 90, right? So we know we did it right. 
Okay, so here we have angle LMN is a straight angle. Okay, so angle LMN. And straight angles are equal to 180 degrees, right? So then it says find the measure of LMP, right? So LMP is that angle right there. And NMP, right? So NMP is this angle right here, okay? So when we add both of these up, again, they should add up to 180, right? So let's do that. So this one right here is negative 16x plus 13. And this one here is negative 20x plus 23. So when we add these up, again, they should add up to 180 degrees, right? Now let's solve for x. So here we have negative 16x minus 20x. So that's equal to negative 36x, right? And then here we have 13 plus 23, and that's equal to positive 36, okay? And this is all equal to 180, all right? So trying to solve for x right here, right? So we'll subtract 36 from both sides, all right? These cancel out. So then we get negative 36x is equal to uh, 180 minus 36, and that's equal to 144, okay? Now we'll divide both sides by negative 36 right there okay these cancel out so then x is equal to 144 divided by negative 36 which is equal to negative 4. okay so now that we know what x is equal to now we can find these right so first we're going to find the measure of lmp okay so we're going to find the measure of angle lmp right so that's equal to this right here right negative 16x plus 13. negative 16x plus 13. But now we know what x is equal to, right? So we're gonna have negative 16 times x, which is negative four, negative four plus 13, okay? So uh, negative 16 times negative four, that's equal to positive 64, all right? So then here we're gonna have, it's gonna be equal to positive 64 plus 13, which is equal to 77, all right? So 77 degrees. So the measure of angle LMP right here, this one is 77 degrees, right? Now we know this is a straight angle, right? So we could just do 180 degrees minus 77 degrees to find this one right here, okay? But I would still recommend just plugging it into this equation because if you messed this one up somehow, the 77 degrees, right? If, if this one's wrong and then you do it that way, well then this one's definitely gonna be wrong, right? So the safer route is to just make sure to plug it into this equation right here, okay? So we're gonna this time find the measure of N M P, right, the purple one. So the measure of angle NMP, okay? So that's equal to negative 20x plus 23. Okay, 20x plus 23. And again, we know what x is equal to, right? So this is gonna be equal to negative 20 times negative four plus 23. Okay, so negative 20 times negative four, that's equal to positive 80. So 80 plus 23 is equal to 103 degrees okay so then this is our other one right here right so this one right here is 103 degrees okay so we have supplementary angles right here right so again they should add up to this number right here 180 degrees which they do right 103 plus 77 does equal 180 so we know again that we did it right okay last one so here this one says ray bd bisects angle abc okay so bd bisects a b c so again here's our keyword right bisects so we know that this side is going to be equal to this side right this angle is equal to this angle they're the exact same angle All right so here it's asking us to find the measure of angle a b d right so a b d uh find the measure of angle c b d right so c b d would be this one right here c b d and also the measure of angle ABC. So ABC would just be the overall one right there, right? Okay, so here it doesn't give us any numbers, but one key fact that we do know is that BD bisects the big one, right? So again, these two expressions are gonna be equal to each other, right? So let's set those equal to each other. 6X plus 14 is equal to 3X plus 29, right? Now, Let's get all the x's on one side and all the numbers on the other. So here, let's subtract 3x and subtract 3x, okay? And then here, let's move the 14 to the other side. So subtract 14, subtract 14, okay? So these cancel out, right? So then 
Here we get 6x minus 3x, that's equal to 3x. And then that's equal to 29 minus 14, which is equal to 15. All right, so then here dividing or solving for x, we'll divide both sides by 3. Those cancel out. So we get x is equal to 5. Okay, so now that we know what x is equal to, now we can solve for each of these, right? So first of all, let's solve for ABD, right? This angle right here. So the expression we're using is 6x plus 14, right? So the measure of angle ABD is equal to 6x plus 14. But now we know what x is equal to, which is 5, right? So 6 times 5 plus 14. So 6 times 5, that's equal to 30. So 30 plus 14 is equal to 44. So 44 degrees, okay? So this one right here is 44 degrees, okay? Now, remember, BD bisects both of these, right? So we know that this angle, right, this red one, is equal to this purple one, right? So what should we get for our answer for this one? Well, this one should also be 44 degrees, okay? But again, let's plug it into the equation just to make sure we did it right, all right? So the measure of angle CBD, right? CBD is equal to uh, 3x plus 29, right? 3x plus 29, okay? Now x is equal to five, so we'll do three times five plus 29 is equal to, let's see, three times five is equal to 15 and 15 plus 29 is also equal to 44 degrees. Okay, so we got the same answer, right? 44 and 44, so we know we did this right, okay? Uh, now, lastly, it says find the measure of ABC. So ABC is just the whole thing. Well, we would just add these two together, right? So 44 plus 44 is equal to 88, okay? So 88 degrees is equal to the measure of angle ABC. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.